Okay, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite companies in the light industry. It's uh, Exposure from the UK. You know, why they might one of my favorites? Well, their their distributor James Penfold is super entertaining, super passionate about their products. So I, I like that. I like him. Um, but <clears throat> their lights, as you will see, are cable free, always self-contained. That's kind of their niche. Um, and the machining is always impeccable. You know, the laser etching, labels, everything, every, in everything they do. So they sent me this nice kit to do, uh, to do uh, measurements on. One thing off the bat, I've been using their products every year uh, as, as they progress. One thing off the bat, they said, okay, everything 30% brighter. So on every single light, <clears throat> especially the old ones. And that's because they switched completely to Cree XPGs. Every light they have that's rechargeable is now using Cree XPGs, which is the, the best emitter available today. <clears throat> so the highlights, so another change is they went to a, um, a USB charging to make things simple. You know, they have a, a wall plug that has a USB port and discharges all their lights. So the, uh, the Big Daddy light is called the six pack. Wham, there you go. It's a huge light, but still small, big for them. It's got six Cree XPGs on it, and it's good for 1800 lumens three hours on this one thing. And what's really cool about it is it's still self-contained um, and it's still using their, their sweet uh, handlebar mount. It's a cleat system. So what that means is that they, they designed the cleat strong enough to um, hold a bigger light like this. It's really not that heavy. But let me just turn it on so you can see what 1800 lumens is. 14, 480 grams, by the way. So that's a slight, that's as heavy as some batteries. But there you go. I like to refer to this as, the, as a light cannon because it's just so bright. And what's cool is it's wide enough as well that you're able to use all that light. So just an impressive light. Okay, another. Um, Highlight is the um, the Diablo. Uh, I've been using this last year. One of my favorite lights, but now it's brighter, thirty percent brighter. And let me tell you, it was bright enough last year. Now nine hundred lumens, one point two hours on the on the max setting. But it's just so bright, so usable. You know, you use it to walk the dog. Um, it weighs nothing, 110 grams. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you guys, it's worth mentioning that they have one of the best uh, helmet mounting systems in the business. Because you just install this in your helmet, top and inside, and then, and then snap this in. And you have it left to right aiming up and down. It's awesome. Over here is just the lineup of their lights. Uh, the uh, the Toro at 900 lumens. The Max D. This one is awesome at 1200 lumens because it's still kind of nice and compact, but it's so bright. You know, I don't think I really need the six pack unless I want to go that super high speed. But just have this on your handlebar, 1,200 lumens, maybe a, maybe a Diablo here. You know, if it's super twisty and I want to see around corners. But such a nice and usable system. And then they also have the, the Strata, which is pretty cool. Because it's got a wide, wide beam. Which uh, at the end of the day, you want your... your, your your um, light to be horizontally wide, 
not necessarily up and down wide because anything <coughs> that hits the thin air is wasted so this this is a pretty efficient light called the strata and then something they were pretty excited about is their taillights um, there's a just just a greater awareness with all these companies uh, and exposure uh, to produce better taillights you know that are inconspicuous they don't bother you you know but they're super usable super bright super visible so this one every time you turn it on and off it switches between solid and flashing and uh, this one is so cool because it's so bright it uses a small rechargeable battery uh, and it hook straps into your seat post uh, just like just like this one this one is so tiny I think it's called a flash so you can use it as a tail light a headlamp I think it's better in flashing mode, you know, just to be seen. But inconspicuous, you could have it with you all the time. You can also um, have an add-on where you add on one of these lights, a tail light, to an existing light. You know, they have a smart port technology, which is so cool because it's a uh, it's a charging plug. But if you put a light there, it'll work as well. <laughs> so there you go. They have another light, which is a tiny LED that will um, hook 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 up to the back of this. So you, this on your helmet on the on the back will be a flashing LED that makes you visible front and back. And with with the um, with all these lights, you can use an external battery. Um, so you can plug it in a piggyback battery and double your your um, your runtime with an external battery if you had to go that way. Uh, one of the because the only weakness of of the system really is the charging. You know they have a, a, a you know these chargers are not ultra powerful, so they take anywhere from three hours to twelve hours to twenty four hours. To fully charge a drain battery but that said you know I'm an exposure user you know they're not they're not the cheapest lights but they're certainly competitive uh, they brought their prices down the um, but the functionality at the end of the day it's all about the functionality you know if you can if you can use a light if you can have a light that you can use every day um, in all in all conditions, walking the dog and biking, hiking, you know, it just adds to your investment. You know, it's just who wouldn't want one of these? You know, just to carry around everywhere and bike with. Thank you.